There it is. There it is. And that's the full wipe stun. Yes. Awesome. He still has a couple more uh, cards to chomp and dump on me, though. Because this is going to be huge. So... Because this beats that option. We get two T-Hexes out of this. But what other follow-up does he have after this? I need you guys to be calm. I need you guys to be calm, all right? I need you guys to be calm. Calm down, calm down, okay? We are here, and we are with the donger, all right? We're, we're here with the donger because the other video was supposed to be the donger, and then I got sidetracked. I blame all of you. You're supposed to keep me accountable here, um, but that is not the reason why. We are gonna be fighting Lissandra. Uh, because we're getting a Bilgewater Gold Star Vessel. I'm just kidding. That's exactly not. That's not. Has nothing to do with why we're here. It's a combo of things. And you guys seem to like uh, when I go through my thought process on this stuff, as far as like what I'm actually thinking about when I'm making these videos. Because it it's never let's make something uh, broken or strong. It's usually just like me testing stuff out or trying to do one of these side challenges. So we have win games. We're gonna get six. We have stun enemies with Leona, which. I might have to still do that. Maybe I'll do that off and then we'll, we'll round it. But we're going to get 12 from here. Play fleeting cards, right? Because Heimer, all his turrets are fleeting cards. So we just have to play 10 turrets and we're already going to accomplish that and then go, start going into the next one. This is 5 out of 8, right? This is 7 out of 10. I can also play multi region units, which is Heimer. But this is more asking you to play like, uh, not Tristana, but you guys know what I mean. Like it's, it's multi, like they're definitely asking you to do something different here. It's obviously just easier to go Leona because you could probably do this in one match, which I will do if I need to. So this is like 18. So we're definitely going to get these two, right? 18. And if you look at the lovely pass, I know some people are already finished, right? Because, you know, they <laughs> a lot of people, you got 10 days. I, I have a lot of other things I'm doing, man. And I thank you guys so much for being patient with me. But we have 45 out of 90. More specifically, I am only 20 away. So within those two things and possibly another thing, and maybe if we, I think there's about six fights in Lissandra. So we just need to win that one and another. So seven fights. We win seven fights. We'll also get another six. So we're at 24. And then we will actually hit um this the bandel major gemstone this is where i am hoping to get enough that will qualify the video <laughs> for our potentially our vex uh six star that is that is what i'm here for hopefully that's what this gives me if it doesn't it doesn't the bilgewater one if it gives me a shard or a crystal or craziness like that we can go mf or something like that so it's really based on what we get out of this and the other one as well so that's that is what the purpose of this video is but i don't really care if i lose as, as i hope you understand that's what i'm saying i don't care if i lose and then leona would be next which she'll probably end up losing too but you know we'll probably get those stuns off and i'll be a happy camper uh the build that we're going just really quickly i'm going with disciple of shadows tempest blade because he kind of does level as you're spamming and then uh, defense spending just because I want to be protected too and I'll be a tech. So I, I think that this, the Tempest Blade might give me some Oko potential uh, after putting out a board. And I, I'm, I just feel like that's just a good combo. If it's not, then uh, I'm blaming you guys for not liking, commenting, and subscribing. Let's go, Liz Baby. And plus, we've been winning a lot, so I, I have to show you guys the loss. It's like the law of, uh, of the nature of this channel. <laughs> Run! Start! To yes all right one thing that i will always love about lissandra is that you get all this goody goods in the thing i think that that there's a place a uh, time and place for that right um let's see kane that replace himself we're kind of looking for stuff that creates spells so i kind of just like set he's kind of just on my mind Jax, your video is coming eventually i actually have to take some time and love you up i know i know all right, Umi Shield, we're playing spells. That's, that could just be a nice offset, right? Uh, this is also pretty good, too. 
is draw two I'm, uh, it's usually i usually shy away from it but the reason why i'm thinking about it is that power rift obviously right this will heal us uh, i think we we want uh, we had no, no no we're already gonna have so much damage mitigation i'm actually gonna go with the bare basic thing i could have rerolled there as well but i kind of want to save my rerolls for something like this right um buy items so this plays twice so what I really like about that is that we'll get two six cost uh, spells in the hand and if Heimerdinger's out, that's two turrets, right? This is pretty cool. We get more of these. This card is like your bread and butter, uh, definitely. So I would almost want to buy both of those, but let's check out what the other options are here. And you don't need six costs. It's not like Jace or uh, Jace, just Jace pretty much. It's not, it has nothing to do with that, but um, having that spell mana is absolutely phenomenal, especially on something that creates a card. And then I want this too. Leaving us with 110, uh, we could, again, it's just about playing spells or units. Something that summons a bunch of units is also something that I'm looking for. Well, let's play so we roll here. Um, see, Power Rift, absolutely phenomenal. That is really good for us. Is anything else good before? <laughs> I already don't have that much money, but yeah. We're looking for stuff that creates things. Like Even something like this is not that bad if I can get some other items on it. But this Mimic is going to be pretty good. And I, I now that I edit my videos so much, uh, just to see like where where does the run break is just so cool to see like one decision that I made that was awesome. I personally will be like I said if I'm just I'm trying to win win, so I will be going up here and I will get the spell shield thing because I do not care. Uh, this is just the uh, trapper. I am inevitable, kind of annoying. Heart of the fluffed, and then we have the warden of the tribes. I would have to go up to go to that thing and then be able to be i don't know if i could be howling abyss really we just needed like a couple matches and then we're pretty much fine who's the easiest fight here this is too aggressive so i don't want to do this i think this is where we want to go all right we got set we got this this guy is amazing so what we're really looking to do is go to where like any like champion thing sorry for heimer specifically Now this is the card where I would have mimic possibly into the epic scrap traption. That that to me is wait why can I? Oh uh, I'm like why can I play that? that? Doesn't make any sense to me. All right, um I would need to draw one more card and then play. Well technically this was cool about this is that I even play it right now is that it still gives me two two one drops that are actually going to be a draw two. That's pretty sick. Oh no 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 it's uh that, that wrong spell I I messed that up. <laughs> <laughs> I messed that up. Um, let's see. Still pretty good. And then we have these tag outs that can actually recall his own unit here. I think we just attack here. Now, is there a thing where... Actually, no. If he doesn't... I want to keep these in hand. Because Heart of the Fluff is, yeah, if he gets five Poros on the field... Which he's about to do anyway. Four, and then he gets one in the round start, and then he does that. So technically, if I really wanted to play hardball, I would bounce them. But none of these guys have keywords. So I don't really don't care. There it is. He gets that stupid wolf. It costs still. Oh, okay. So that kind of does screw me up a little bit, not going to lie. Um, unless I take the spell shield off of him. It takes a lot of mana to do that. They're not to... Oh, well, this stupid thing. And he has Challenger. I feel as though... We might be able to do more. Oh, not if I kill all my other units. So, 9 damage. That's fine. I think the AI is literally programmed to, uh, I could scoop him up if I need to as well. Oh, wait, where's the challenger go? Didn't one of his things have challenger? Oh, maybe I just, I guess I didn't see that. <laughs> I guess I didn't see that. That's fine with me. I'll definitely take the eight damage because we still have, we're, we're, we're tough. We're tough in it. And we already have the little boost. We level in.
I didn't use that correctly. I actually forgot that I even did that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, we can even actually let, let's. I want to test something out just for my own sake, especially because I'm trying to do something anyway. That's the boy I like. It's not fleeting anymore, right? This is fleeting, but the other thing is not fleeting. That's fine. Now, this is free, but I can also... Is there another spell in which I can get rid of... I obviously want to get rid of the Fluff the Poros, but we should be fine. I think we could just overwhelm him, right? I'm pretty sure that that's something we do. This is another one. Uh, let's pass the turn. Nice, get a little elusive action going. And you're gonna like all the spells. You're gonna like the way you look. Okay. We could do this to re get me back too. This thing is still. I'm just gonna overload him right now. And now when I play the coin, I should actually get two mana back to get me back four. Oh yeah. And there we go with this. This feels really good. Um, I don't have the space for, and we have, I can still play this. I could play one more card. I mean, it, it sucks that it makes me draw. And then we do this. That's also going to help us out. What did I get? I was like, what happened? <laughs> um, this will give me another coin, but I don't. I think we just push more damage. And then we could just go crazy here. Yeah, he gets to block some of it. They don't have Overwhelm, so nothing crazy on that. Kill that. That trades, obviously. That trades positively. So we only lost that 8 damage so far. I'm happy with that. Right. Um, this is gonna hurt, but not too much. Look, we actually have some things to really take that damage. Even Heimer himself, if I actually get like a thing. So I'm just gonna pass here. This uh, scrap traption would be huge, and he doesn't want to attack. That's fine. Exactly. And now we're deep, <laughs> cause why? Of course you go deep in your Heimer deck. There we go. Um, I kind of want another elusive turret. I know this thing gets burned, but hit him with the six. And again, we already hit. Probably we're gonna. Like, I know I'm gonna hit the fleeting thing. Like it's like not even, not even a question. Don't care about that. Especially because, look. Oh, wait. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Luckily here, I just saw he got life still somehow. But he does not have elusive. So we still win. And even if he did, we would just put, you know, obviously we just put everything off to the right. So he would have to heal here. But it's too much damage. Okay. All right. First first match, Dunskies. All right, we played seven cards there. There goes our first win, like I said. And then we have the seven cards here. We're definitely going to be able to get that. Draw power is more stronger, so we'll take the draw power. Item chest, not really a big fan of that. Um, this is good, because I don't really care how it does the damage. Um, but being able to pierce the damage is really good. We can also get more tag outs in the deck to just punch stuff back into the hand. That's also really good. And then we get the coin and the synergy with that as well. But like I said, things that summon things already for me are, is really strong for me. 
Uh, so Zephyr Sage with Hidden Frost, and then I am Inevitable. This fight is just if I don't have a good start, I just lose, and I don't feel like dealing with that. This one we can we can stack versus them. I think is better. And that little combo is great. I don't even need to do double mimic really. I can I can discard this mimic. I say I just need you to give me a unit. There we go. This is perfect. So even if I discard set, because I don't even think that set like works right now. So I never discard champions. Um, I can't afford that. That's kind of annoying. Okay. Does he do... It gives me the coin. Never see me coming. And he's a little bit cheap. I should have just did... Okay. What if I do this into coin? I could be doing this wrong. Okay, no, I did it right. I did it right. I don't get two though because it's four damage. I might still get the... No, it doesn't do it. Okay, okay. That was pretty good. I needed uh, the. It does too much damage, funny enough. Alright, so these two cards are gonna die, but. For the people! Alright, we just chill. Luckily, this will go through that. A little bit of swarmage here. I'm so close to playing that six. That guy's huge. Hey, what's up, Bobby? Oh, we just got like extra stats. Okay. Okay. Um. No, no, it would not. All right, so I don't think him having lowish HP is like that big of a deal. Oh, he's attack. Okay, we block all the damage because we're tough. Look at that. Look at that. And then now we can Heimer Donger. Big facts. Drop it down. Wait, I could have did that differently. I keep forgetting I have Tempest Blade. That's the whole purpose of me playing it. Is that I could have... I could have did that a little bit slower. Okay, he didn't really... Well, he's going to have to override some of these guys. Um, you know, we get to really attack here. Tackle both of those. He has to sacrifice that. Like, this is what I really want to do as, like, a play. Have him on the field. Uh, scrap trap into that, which would be really good. So, I think I definitely wasted it again. I keep forgetting I have it. I think it's really strong, but I, I, I have to play into it, obviously. Keep messing up. Oh, Bill, we got a frozen Tyrannosaurus Rex. All right, uh, drop that. Okay, he thinks he has the advantage here. Do wait. Trade all day. Six. Before I get denied, right? Probably end up getting denied, but.
deleted. Take that nice one damage. All right. Uh, these all look terrible, but. I think we're in a good spot again. Let me get my draw one going. Just what I needed to see. Thanks. End on that. It's fine. That card's really fine, obviously. Let's see what we get from it, though. This car getting that flash of brilliance is nuts. All right, so we got the illegal contraption, or we could take out another unit. Six damage. Goodbye. Goodbye, 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 my friend. Cause now it's time to go. But hey, I say that's okay, cause we'll see you very soon, I know, very soon, I know. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. The moon, the bear, and the big blue. Y'all don't know about big blue bear in the house. Y'all don't know about that. Looks like it's gonna take one more turn. That's fine with me. Uh, that's fine with me. I keep checking it because I, I know I'm drawing a lot, so I just want to keep checking my uh, thing. There it is. How Mama used to make it. All right, you can do that all day. Get us up another stealth turret for the price of one ninety nine. Well, or ninety nine. My gifts cannot be refused, for they are not given. Oh, I mean, I was gonna override them anyway, but I appreciate the help. Damn, we are getting these things, and then they put themselves back in the deck. I don't have to do. You know, I don't. Let's let's be polite. Let's be polite. And I said I was gonna get another six, but I forgot it's a one cost. Though this is this is a crazy cycle card. And we'll put him in there just because I have more. That's the GGS. Absolutely. Cut it off. Harmer still gets his quote. <laughs> Damn, they denied him. All right, so fleeting cards. Boom, twelve. We are so close. Let me see what the next thing that uh, gets there out of that. We are so close. I was doing phenomenal, actually. And what I do like about um, to Poros, I guess we just take the spell. Is it worth a reroll? I'm in the middle path, though, to be honest. So these all look terrible to me. Discarding, this is hand spacey. I'll just take that and just hope we don't draw it, right? Or we have a card that we can remove later somewhere down the road. Uh, I don't want to waste rerolls here. So let's see what it replaced it with. When games strike with Titanic units, which is actually up our alley, right? Uh, we will be level up champions during matches three times. That is not what they want you to do. It's pretty much this one that's like really easy to do and the other ones that's not. Um, this is like ASOL territory. Uh, but this one's actually not that bad because our, our turrets will become Titanic like very easily. So we could definitely get this accomplished. So we definitely should have it in the game. And it's what only 12. I'm not going back. Uh, we have to fight this anyway. Alpha Cat. Beautiful hand. A hand that would make a mama proud. That tag out uh, is is just going to be amazing. I was like, what the hell happened to my Nexus? <laughs> That's that uh, really cool animation that it has. All right, so we would need to draw one more to do double this. A true that is fine. We're just trying to get a nice, good, open uh, feel for the Doubleheimer. 
not the double the double heimer just to have uh, two heimers sorry uh board space is going to be an issue so all in attack here it makes sense to me we trade one weaken the other he rallies i think every turn or something of that nature he's not going to now does he have the other thing where i'm vulnerable no just frostbite in my first unit that's fine with me This is going to be a little annoying. We're going to take some damage, but it's fine. Because I'm killing both of those. Then he presses the attack. We'll be fine here. That actually scared me. <laughs> I was like, oh crap, we're not fine here. Um, that's fine. Even this, it's a four mana, that's fine. We're going to get... He's a tech, so him, me playing this right now could give him an added bonus that could actually work out in my favor. And it does, absolutely. Knowing how your cards work is pretty smart. <laughs> give me enough damage to actually kill that, and then we could play this. And, oh, oh no, I would have to hold it. I have to hold it because then I would lose out on this really good stun. Let's, let's actually play it differently here. I, Normally you would play that, right? Absolutely. He only needs three more, so even playing this would actually trigger it. Um, which is kind of eh. Give it all is actually insane. I could actually uh, have access to it next turn with like perfect mana. Um, we could do... Take care of one of these doggies. Probably discard this. He still frostbited me. Oh, because he's still he's still rallying. Okay, so that wasn't like the smartest thing, but we do get a really good stun here. I was like, wait, I, I thought I was gonna have like a, a lot of really good force here, but I don't. I don't actually have that, so that was a misplay on my end as far as like how that works. So, yeah, that was uh, wasn't optimal. It wasn't optimal. I'm trying to make it optimal. At least we have quick attack here. Again, not losing too much damage, so I like it. I like it a lot. Close. All right, we'll take this guy out. He's the biggest damage. Set is here, but he doesn't matter. Uh, they all have overwhelm. So at the very least, we're taking some damage. This is kind of like a double whammy. Kills one unit, summons a unit, and gives me another thing in hand. Nice improved defenses right on this turn is pretty good. So again, we could just play into highest defense. Good. Full block. Full block. I could send, actually, who's most expensive? You go back to Dan. Now you take literally nothing. The one damage that actually peeks through here is negated by the tough nexus. <laughs> Idiots. So unfortunately, so what's really cool about what I'm gonna do, this uh, this give it your all is gonna be insane. Cause one of my units gets frostbitten. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Uh. Can I? No, it'd have to be a spell. Like something like this. That works. Draw. That's perfect. Because you think that matters. Mimic. And to give it all twice.
Uh, yes, sir. So no matter how low they made these, they're going to equal out anyway. Everyone gets all the keywords. What I do like about Heimer, is, especially against Lissandra, is that most of these plays that I'm doing... That one, I think, was four cards, to be fair. But most of them are around the same amount. Yeah, yeah, GG re. <laughs> you have fun over there. GG. Boom, there it is. Almost finishing that one in the same thing. We are good to go. Almost want to just retire the run and just claim the thing, but... We're patient. Be patient. They told us to be patient. Our turret's doing a little... Oh, yeah, that does nothing, though. Um, stress defense is huge. That is huge of a card. That's a card your mama used to make. Get some power. Um, grow my health to match my power. Insanity. This is also pretty good, too. But this helps the turrets, like, by a lot. And if I can remember to properly use it, be really good. If that's theirs, phenomenal for us, right? Because they just, like I said, they just trauma dump in that first turn that they get. And we could usually survive it pretty easily. All right. Awesome hand. And you guys know it's about time that we randomly get uh, this. I don't know if this is going to be that useful, but this is about time that we get set, right? We've. I should have probably rerolled all this because is it time that we just randomly get set for no reason? Okay, no. Now, the card that... Uh, yeah, I can't... I could do this into a double tag out, which makes no sense. Uh, yeah, nope, we're good. Yeah. This is fine. Once I hit up this card. Alright, so like I said, he is just going to trauma dump on us. With that one space in the hand. Round three. Reduced by six. That's really good because like, I think that other card costs like at least one. So, and Heimerdinger would not be the... Oh no, he would be the strongest currently, but... It's fine. Oh, I lied to myself, like, badly. Oh, my God. I lied to myself. <laughs> I just lied. All right. Uh, let's see. I could just recall that, right? Because I have enough mana to do so. You get a four cost. This, is, this might be really good, too, but... I don't have the hand space for it, which is kind of annoying. Let's do this first. I feel like I need something burst speed that's... I think I need to do this. I don't get the six cost cards, which I really want. But I need something to take the, the hit if he drops that card. There it is. Exactly my 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 plan, and this oh if it can't be any more pro so he's zero cost, so he could drop another one. I have to be willing to take some damage here. <laughs> oh my god, we are playing this actually correctly, which is funny. Um, same thing. I need just to be a little bit stronger than me. There it is. There it is. And that's the full wipe stun. Yes. Awesome. He still has a couple more uh, cards to trauma dump on me, though. Oh, no. I am the strongest now. I, I can't help it if he plays another one. Okay. That's fine. We can now hit you with this. Do I have another draw engine? I do not. How many cards do I have in my hand? Eight. This is basically four cards, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I would love to get rid of some of them. <laughs> uh, this is... Man, if I could... Technically, I can hit this with a double four. And, like, take get rid of this guy. 
Because when he attacks, I can play this first, play the turret, and then I can get to a, a double of that. That is, a, that is something I could do. It's just the next spell. Two more cards left in hand. So... We take this out then. These re recovering means nothing to me. We're going to get two units here. Plus two turrets. So I get two mana back. Heimer, it was absolutely... No, I could save, I could save Heimer. <laughs> We'll just take more damage if he pulls hammer. He does not pull hammer. He's going for the max max amount of damage. We'll just use this. Um, and I just want to empty out my hand, and then we could do another flash of brilliance. I'm inevitable. Don't really care. So yeah, let's get more. Now my hand is way more open, right? We actually have room for the four cards. We have sharp sight now. Get rid of this one. Me big. I respect it, dude. I really do. Um, Five costs. Okay. So, six damage, it dies. It gives us elusive. Uh, I'm looking for something. This kill all units with four or less. I'm only going to... I'll pay seven. The seven turret, I think, is the barrier turret. Yeah. It's just a barrier turret. Nothing too crazy. This is completely useless to me. Um, that gives me the dino, but it, I, I lose the actual scrap traction. So, I think we go with this. The elusive turret. We get all, 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 everyone gets overwhelmed, which is fantastic. Wait, who are you? So you're taking this out, so I'll just. So what I could do. We could easily replay Heimer. There's so many homies out here. Draw to see what we get. Okay. We play Hymer. These all get weakened. It's fine. But now I'm not going to be stunned because I cannot kill that at all. So <laughs> I'm on a new level. All right. Uh, push this damage. We could kill you. Now, these are not elusive, but should I start working on you? No, then he just gets the uh, thing. We just use these as blockers. These are not um, overwhelms or anything like that. Um, I can tag one of them out, though. Oh, I could have just tagged this out, oh, but he could just replay it. I don't want to do that. We do it when he attacks, though. So I think we just do this right now, and we might just have to... It's going to sound annoying but we might literally have to wait until i get like a little oh they're hollowed that that might make a difference all right um and then i'm looking for what am i looking for to win out this fight i mean the heal is just nice beat me up scotty we'll keep the mana for now the Flash of Billions giving me like something to win out the fight here. I'm gonna deal three. There we go. No overwhelm, so again, does not matter. Uh, we could literally do this, get rid of this, because it's kind of useless. Alright, that's fine. I, 
I want to play the handler here. I like that all these cards actually die. That's really good for us. Awesome. All right, so we could play. Actually, I should just play this because we get the with the eight. And there goes the elusive that I was looking for. Absolutely elusive. Oh no, this one's elusive. We got the evolve. Heal myself in the process. Draw one. Now I need to talk to you, Heimer. How did how did you get uh <laughs> how did you get that going for you, huh? All right, so we can attack. Really, really strong attack here, and then recall. Looks like one of the units, at least. All right, uh, we could do this. This card might piss me off, so I think I should open attack here. Should I do this first? So we can kill this, which is great. This is pushing for damage. And then I could let them see where they'll give me the damage for the uh, the tag out. This deck doesn't really have burst speed stuff. I should have put the elusive uh, there. So I don't want to recall that though. Recalling that means nothing. So... Oh, is it because I'm going to hit something? How much damage is this? So that's 29 damage plus the, the damage that the T-Hex is doing. I can also... This is only 6 damage if I push that, putting that back in there. Yeah, I don't want to recall that. I'd rather push the 20 damage. Unless I get quick attack right now and I'll be pissed. I hope we just got better stats. This fight is definitely longer. So many that is perfectly fine. Oh, my. We can actually kill this guy, finally. I lied. <laughs> he was almost deadable. Now he gets extra stats. We have to play two of these. Longer fight, but we played this accurately. We're only down 3 HP from our like actual total, so... He has no overwhelm units, once again. So... It doesn't really matter what he does here, if I'm being honest. Migo face is absolutely correct. <laughs> That's just so funny. Burn everything here. Get another T Hex. That's GG. Played massively by your boy, I'd have to say. A little pat on my own back. Didn't get that elusive. If we got the elusive, it would have been like super over. I can care. There we go. Just you, uh, easy clap. Strike with the units. Boom, we got it. I think we even got the other thing. Okay, we're already, uh, that's at the end now. We're at the complete end of the cycle. The diamond vault, I think, is the last thing in there. So we just have to wait until the end of this video and we should be good. Tag out with even more reduction, which is actually not that bad, right? I could just start doing this, but I want more of this already good card, right? We get more copies of it. We can tag it out. Now it's going to be super cost reduced. So the other aspect of recalling one of their units is going to be easier to do. Mind meld versus just gold. Uh, mind meld is to remove cards from the deck. I think I would re I would remove the conch at this point. The This thing I'd probably remove. The bouncing I would remove. Uh, what the hell is this? Stress, uh, stress defense could save my ass, honestly, so I wouldn't actually keep that out. I would remove set. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally not doing anything. I think we just go with the gold. 
Don't add any more cards to the deck. Doggies. Bow, wow, wow. Let's go. Beautiful hand. Yeah, yeah, beautiful hand. Provided we get Heimer. But uh, we've been uh, lucking out with the 50-50 so far. Gotta love that. We actually played the Tempest really good for once in our lives. Uh, so, yeah, these things are super. They're, all, they're basically always going to be free at this point. So, yeah, what is it? Yeah, both are free. Absolutely beautiful. So we can even uh, mimic into that and get two things, but we don't need to do all that, man, because these don't generate uh, units on the field for me, so. Dog gets bigger. All right, so we just drop this down. All right, yeah, we just drop this down. Two and two. My goal here is obviously to recall the ephemeral one. <laughs> that is the that is the goal. So we could we can't use this as a blocker. Do this. Bounce that. We could even recall the other one, but I feel like we should be saving that for a little bit later. Eh, it doesn't really matter. We ha we have really good HP right now, so why not? Makes Heimer a little bit more expensive, but. Because then if I were to drop this, he would go down to a one cost. He kills these before I get to activate its really good effect, which is a little bit annoying. But we could do this. These got boosted from the Nexus, so we only lose one of them. And that means I can still play Heimer. Play the love. I'm gonna get a really big attack here. Five, and then yeah, five is gonna equal that out. Perfect. Stun the field. I would like to draw one. See what other diabolical stuff that we can get ourselves into. Get this stupid bouncing bomb. Um, where are we at, actually? Two more mana. So, you could do the same thing here. We get the double bouncing bomb. This guy's gonna die regardless, so might as well replace him. We, now we're able to play the bouncing bomb. Uh, just kill that. Oh wait, maybe I should have separated it. One in one and I could have did damage to the other thing. What is this? Because it fizzles, I kind of... Actually, it doesn't matter that it fizzles, really. Outside of the, the damage to the Nexus there. Rough, rough. Pop us here. Now, it's going to equal out their attacks anyway. So, basically, I'm just doing this for... I want to keep this because it gives all my units a little bit of boost. I can actually attack with Heimer, too, because he's just going to become an 8-8. There any is, would this be more damage? Right? I think I'm being too greedy with this. Doesn't he become a 10? Yeah, 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 there we go. Beautiful. One off. What did I do wrong? Oh, yeah, at least I can play this next turn. Oh, wait, maybe maybe something with this. Well, this got reduced because I hit reputation, so. 
That's fine. Oh, wait, we have the answer right here. <laughs> Divine Whirlwind, for some weird reason. Is going to be our GG's. You'll love to see it. That's crazy. Skadoosh. Set, please no. Um, create in hand exact copy of the. I I mean the fact that he plays for himself is not bad. Twin disciplines, uh, good for trading, but it's another card that starts off in my hand, and we do have a little bit of hand issues in the beginning, especially with Flash of Brilliance. Hate that you have to take a card. It's always been one of my gripes. Uh, this guy has faded, so he's even more valuable. Uh, the aftershock has been really good i think giving this fade I'm not, I'm not really targeting my own cards this card is already good but we already always get it making that card pop up more is amazing shop as you guys know is a little bit different we don't get a power in these shops so this is oh my god they're, they're overloading this card but uh do we have anything good here one cost i'm a poro homecoming justice rider this thing these are all pretty bad i think i'm gonna where are we at Go this. I think we re-roll here. One of our already good cards gets to something better. Draw a champion is pretty good. It does make I could have cut it on my hand, but eventually I'm going to get screwed, right? Oh, we roll one more time. Mimic to shuffle one cost copies is really good to me. Put a fleeting copy in the hand is pretty good. Clutters the hand a little bit though. This doesn't add more of the cards into my deck, though. We got one more reroll. And since we bought one thing, I could see. So we actually, I want to go up there and I want to have a reroll. This is, what is this? Crimson Aristocrat. So I'm going to save my reroll. And that's just the thing. So I could spend my money here also. So no other tech units here. And then we can make, we might as well make this better. So I can summon it, put it in my hand as well. And then this is just better. And then we'll save the reroll here to get one more good thing on Heimer. After we destroy Charndle's butthole. Alright, so we have the Handler. Aftershock. This thing, I could bounce that back at the very least. You guys know it's coming. When do I get the starting hand and it's set? I, I'm just like, every time Heimer is, it's, it's too good to be true. Now, we know with Trundle, it's about, he's going to scale. He's definitely the better scaler in this situation. Uh, Mimic into this does seem pretty good. Sets up, sets up a pretty nice next turn. He's just going to drop the Trundle, of course. This allows us to play Heimer next turn. He doesn't go for it. I was definitely prepared to, to just scoot him right back into the hand. Um, interesting. That is very interesting that he didn't do that. That's fine. This is perfect. Because I can just do a nice no mana play here. Yeah. Don't really care about the HP loss at all. Um... I definitely am way more concerned about. I mean, I'm gonna recall him anyway. That's already gonna happen. Da. Ah! Double spirit. At least now I don't lose those two cards, which is really good for me. Alright, what is this? Just one. Let's get a draw. That will make that we have perfect mana next turn. Set is here. Uh, but <laughs> no one cares. Uh, that's good, that's good. So... Let's discard. Set might make a difference here, actually, a little bit. So I'd rather just... How many board space do I have? What play am I trying to make? Getting both of these out, usually pretty good. I think we just play with this first. 
And then I could play that afterwards. What the hell? So three more damage and that thing is going to trigger. So I'll discard this tech unit. Obviously baiting here. <laughs> uh, I think I think we're in a good spot. Definitely don't want that. Shouldn't be able to play any more cards. Let me get you out of here. Augment is actually insane. You're not going to scale as high as these guys are. Not even close. Not even close. More damage. Forty three damage, pretty damn good. This is where it gets scary, though. Break both the broken no overwhelm, though. So, I mean, <laughs> I love that they never play this correctly. It's it's a it's a funny interesting thing that they just don't ever play it correctly but uh we should be fine here heimer is actually still safe so we could i think we just yeah we just mitigate the damage here because we're going into the lasandra fight i could also uh, just admit to losing the lasandra fight as well now There's a lot I could do here. I wish this was actually... It's funny enough, I actually wish it was one mana. Because then I would draw out of it. But, uh... Yeah, this is a... Very interesting situation. Where the next turn... I need to end the game the next turn. So... Even these zero cost guys... Yeah. Set actually doing nothing. So I, I, I figured, I was like, I wonder if I'm going to get boned for not being patient. And I definitely got boned for not being patient. All right, so I think we just take care of one of his blockers. Are we triggering the thing? We are going to trigger it. Okay. High good side, we get something really good here. Just that's. And a frostbite to boot. Fortunately, we don't have the other one. That is crazy. He kind of went with a. Uh... So we have this. They all have like. Really not enough damage to push here. We do this. It doesn't trade. I, I, I need to get him off the build. So he'll definitely block this. And then uh, when we free this unit, I forgot what he captured, but Frostbite was kind of huge. I would on, on honestly, I honestly would say, um, but I would. Oh, he's also a challenger too. That that was a mistake on my end.
Okay, the draw might be big. Watcher. Okay. The draw is kind of big now. Uh, we have more units. That is not what I need. Okay. This is really bad. Yeah, it might be. Lower the deck to three. I feel like at this point we just need What do I need here? I need uh out of the three cards in the deck, either something that multiplies itself or that's a good hit. This is an open attack amazingness, depending. What did we get? No, it's not really. I mean, they all have. Yeah, they, they all had Challenger, and it looks like they also got um, uh, Hollowed, but that would have been great last turn. Yeah. We can't really kill anything. I needed impact or overwhelm or something like that, potentially to push the amount of damage. Yeah, now we're just getting outscaled like crazy. Yeah, we got one more, a uh, couple more turns here. Oh wait, does that thing make it uh makes a copy of itself? I like how they're just not playing Chundo correctly at all. <laughs> Alright, um That's fine. Tough is irrelevant. We are trying. Oh my god. So Heimer is gone because of the uh, ice pillar. He finally decided to play it. So it looks like we're going to do this song and dance until you guys just give me overwhelm uh, and I get to pull in something. Okay. That's not good enough. Not good enough. We keep T hexing though. I feel as though you've played this a little bit too many times. He did Spectral Matron at once though. Just curious. Now it's gonna be it, right? No, just stats, I guess. You just keep giving me the spirit hit, man. It would be nice if it can't hit, like, the whatever ones. So we lose the fight here on Trundle. Boom. Deal damage with creative cards. We blew that out of the water. So now the battle pass is completely finished. So basically got boned there as far as, like, the the whole thing of 
like, oh, God, I just need to hit elusive. Uh, any other things? One of the biggest reasons why I do not like Heimer, is, and that, that, that's it right there. I should have probably just kept the draw, the extra draw. But, yeah, the, the, the whole aspect of not being able to choose or, like, it's just random, like, just literally costs us the game. It, like, it, like, if we were able to just get one of the ones that would have just helped me push the damage, uh, the hollowed, maybe a good improvement to me would definitely be, well, I could play a card first, really. Yeah, we can get both of these out in the field. What do we not need here? No, it is, I, I, I basically need all these cards. He can attack, he's just not gonna get the attack off. Okay, double Heimer. I'm sure you would, big fella. Knock him dead in your dreams, though. Should I just do this? All right, so we, we need to hit the, the ground running. We know that. So immediately just boop. He might again. Okay. Not even looking for like a still Tempest play necessarily. Our hands nice and low. Need some good hits here. Those are not that bad. Shout outs to stall. Shout, shout outs. All right. Uh, let us do this first. They're gonna get stunned up. We're gonna push some damage, but you know, frostbite is frostbite. Frostbite be frostbiting. Back to what? Seven cards in hand. All right. So, I, to me, it's actually really important to get these cards, like the from what things from Flash of Brains. That RNGness is going to really decide whether or not we win the fight or not. So, pushing some decent damage here. 34. Increased defenses. Literally, like the second turn, this is fantastic. We can even hex transmogify one of our units into a tech unit. Alright, so not much I could do there. Be great. He's not going to attack though. We de we definitely know that. Um let's just play this. Get rid of this. Awesome. So fearsome. The cool thing about fearsome and actually let's trigger that. Because he only has one. He actually just lost the game for himself. That's awesome. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna st uh, stress defense and open attack. Give it your all. Oh my god. And we have augment, so I can just spam this. Here. So, do I lose to uh, Harsh Winds, right? So, Harsh Winds is going to take my two biggest out immediately, right? So, this is the amount of damage I could have to assume that I'm going to push. He could actually, and actually, no, he, he could still block Heimer. So, Harsh Winds, these two. We have 17, so we don't actually have lethal because he could still block the other thing. So we have to go with another route, which is he might, and he might ice pillar me here, which is very annoying. But if he ice pillars, that's still pretty okay, I think, because this is going to be huge. So.
because this beats that option. Okay, he did it wrong. I thought he was going to actually do it correctly and, like, blow me out of the water. All right, so he did that one. What is my follow-up to that? We're still going to get... We get two T-Hexes out of this. Right? I might have messed that up. Maybe maybe the play was still to just stress defense, um, one of them. Or just him and then push the damage and then pray he didn't have it. I think that's a little weird to do. Um, but what other follow-up does he have after this? He doesn't have a unit follow-up here. So we have all challengers. Oh, the impact. Okay, we're great. We're good. We're good. We actually got impact for some reason. Awesome. Whew. Holy crap. There is nothing you can do about that, brother. Had to had the flash freeze. Did have a freeze, so he did have a freeze in hand. So I did do that correctly. Cause he still was able to black Heimer because Heimer didn't have fearsome. So like we only would have pushed two damage and he would have froze the other one. And then he had, he technically had way better plays, but somehow we made it here. This is a long video. Holy crap. Play summon an exact ephemeral copy. That's two draws. So I do like that. And here we here we got our re what can we get on Heimer? Capture not my I'm not a big fan of capture. The focus crystal does seem really good to me because I'm going to be playing him out there and he's just going to be scaling. So I do like that. I'd have to like try to figure out what other ones I could do. We are fighting against I'm Inevitable, Lissandra, and the grand finale. Heimerdinger versus Lissandra, I am inevitable. This is going to be crazy. We already lost a fight to Trundle. So this is now or never. Uh, I do have to keep in mind about the three cost things. I am not expecting to win this, I, as you guys know. I thought I was going to lose, like, literally probably like 30, 40 minutes ago, but we for some reason did not. So let us come in here, come and give it our best shot, and hopefully not <laughs> upset the queen as far as her making everything cost more. But her making some stuff cost more could be to our benefit by getting a elusive turret out in the field. So I'm going to try to keep that in mind. And, yeah, here we go. And then after this fight, we are going to open up that major gemstone and see what we're at where we're at with the uh with the bandle city situation yes it is baby double tag outs chemtech chem punk and then the scrap traction this is amazing provided that i draw heimerdinger for every single first round in the game please don't make this anticlimactic Okay. Oh man. The funny part, I mean, the real funny part about it is that, well, she already has, she goes up to, she takes damage, but she goes back up to six anyway. Recalling her to me uh, gives her another uh, tomb and doesn't really progress what I'm trying to do. What we're at the the junction the juncture that we're at at this point is that I need something to help me draw into him. Um, like my draw Esper card, like even this would put more of these in my deck, and I might not draw into it. Um, well, how many cards do we have in hand? So we can do it. Let's do this first, honestly. Okay. This card uh, negates that no matter what. And this, uh, with the double thing, it actually still does that. So we'll take the four damage here. 
Sputtering Song Spinner and give grant all battling followers ephemeral. That actually could make a difference. Uh, if I can block most of his damage and then like all his like thralls and all this other stuff will end up dying at the end of the turn, that might make a difference. All right. So this won't kill her. So I feel like maybe we just do this first. Weaken her a little bit first. Doesn't do damage. Then when I do this, it will do damage. That's pretty good. All right, so we have something, we have an overwhelm thing. No text on the field currently, which is awesome. Uh, we could maybe do this. So we can kind of get a glimpse of how our techs are currently doing. Also recall it, put it back in the hand. Not really gonna do anything for me. Uh, yeah. Masterful use of these tag outs, all, all three of them, <laughs> is gonna be uh, our bread and butter. About to say this would be a fantastic uh, Use of the other card. Um, could be dealing with a. I feel as though there's no way that she's not. Let's be smart about this. I I do want her to die like by a lot. So. Be good, a bit, a bit, a bit. <laughs> okay, add the frostbite on deck. That's a okay with me. Um, we have so much of these. I want you to pay fair fair market value for that. There you go. Alright, so... We can get you out there. I bet I will. So another really cheesy way to get the Watcher out of here is to have a board full of nonsense, right? We have a board full of nonsense, and then we attack, and then we do the Shadow Flare. That's another really good, uh, and it's only for followers, too, so like, like she doesn't have to really worry about anything. I'm going to see if I can scoop her up for Christmas real quick. Oh, wait, no, maybe I shouldn't. Um... I am in buried in ice territory, but still not that bad of a thing, really. If I could just try to hit her right now, remove her from the board, and then she has to play herself again through uh, the tomb here. Okay. Okay. Where are we at with the Watcher? Two more. She's right back. Return of the Mac. Okay. Again, A-OK -okay with me. Because we can take a decent beating here. I want her to kind of do her worst in a sense. I shouldn't have said that. I, I shouldn't. I should not have said that. All right. Um. That is definitely amongst her worst. And then they did get elusive here. She can play the Watcher. It is unfortunate that I can't. Um, tag out. You go one for one. So how much damage is this? Nine, well not nine, eight, 
16, 24, and then uh, 24 was at 32. We have to block that, obviously. And then 30, 32 is at 37. So 37, we'll be left with one HP. Ice shards are not, well actually, I did the I did the cardinal sin, right? I actually put out a, a cheap unit here. So let me try to dissuade that by getting at least <laughs> we can also do this too. Give ourselves more options. Oh my I forgot. I forgot. I'm so sorry, chat. I'm sorry, comment section. I forgot. I completely forgot. Oh my god, I forgot. I was because the ice shard. Well, to be fair, the ice shard just kills me, right? Because it's I'm inevitable. The ice shard just literally kills me. Um, I lose my entire deck. Heimer's not coming. So you block this, right? And it's the 37, like I said. Then you use the Shadow Flare. It will be fine. We'll be good to go. I can also now um, recall. I can still recall one of these to mitigate the damage even further. Um, but no, this would have killed all of these. Left Lissandra up. I, I butchered that so bad. Now, I could use this and hope that I get something that does kill her. That's another option. We're never in threat of the ice shard. For the, if it wasn't, I am inevitable. I would have kind of been. I wouldn't have to think about. Oh, they're gonna screw my uh, Zana Urkin, and then uh, it would trigger. I don't. I didn't want her to play that because I think we lose if he does do that because it's three times plus two plus two, and I don't know what that number is, but I'm pretty sure that that just straight out kills it. So I think that we have to. Can I do this and then chain that? No, I can't. No, I can't do it at the same time. That is very unfortunate. So, I think we just go with this. And then I I just pray. Okay. So, yeah, that was uh magical. The other option here is that you... Wait, why is he glowing? What? Oh, if... Duh. Okay. I need to spend a little bit more mana and then we could start flipping. Start flipping houses. All right, uh... It's just not enough. I mean, fourteen. Beat losers, you, me, in the ring. Wait, I'm a formidable. I mean, it doesn't actually matter, but he knows. Yep, he knows. That was the play. That was absolutely the play. Oh boy, that was absolutely the play. What a throw. And I only have one elusive, two elusives technically, to mitigate some damage here. And Hex Obliterator is not going to do anything. We once again have a, we have the ability to recall, right? Three, three HP. So we could do, we have 11 mana. So I could do this into this. And I have one mana left over. 
what I'm trying to do is I think that it costs zero this round. I think that if I do that after the thing, I might be able to cheese it is what I'm hoping for. Especially if I can get a tag out that costs zero. That is my goal. So, yeah, I think that that's, that is my goal. Kind of let him play himself out a little bit here. So he plays that. We could do this now. I'm going to, I'm going to do it anyway. So we do that part now. Okay. Okay. Sorry. 20 damage left on the table. Okay. So I could pray. <laughs> I could basically pray. I play one of these things. I mean, I, I could play this anyway, and it should trigger the thing. And if I get elusive, I'm in a good spot. This is just another thing, and I don't. And I get three other cards that should be zero cost. Hoping for a tag out here. All right, nothing. I got like another random keyword there. It made him a little bit stronger, but see, look at I, I know if I press this, then they get yep, and it got another hit there. So no, if I if I did it the way that I wanted to, not worried about the thing, but I'm almost certain that because it, it's three, it would they would have got plus six plus six, and it would have been three of them still going through. Plus six, plus six. I'm pretty sure I lose, right? So I have to do that, but I think that I didn't have to play the other card, though. That was that was where I messed up. But and again, it, it's random, so I didn't get like I got good stats, a couple key keywords. If I had hit elusive, I would actually be able to block both of these, and we'd be absolutely fine, and then we would have gone to win. Uh, so Shadow Flare was the play, 100%. Um, me playing that other card, I, I, well, I think that was the only card I had to play, though, right? It's unfortunate. Okay. And this is a... I don't actually know why... What in the AI made it want to play that, but... Maybe it was to beat out this. But Ice Shard blows us out the water. You have to avoid the AI, like, uh, them playing the Ice Shard, like, by any means necessary. <laughs> when it, I am inevitable. GG's. Heimer not showing up at the end. Should, I guess I guess that's another thing. Full mulligan would have been another option there. Uh, that is super unfortunate. And it's, I feel like it happens so often in the Lissandra run when you just don't get the champion at the end. We got it. Even we lost the fight. So that was an extra fight on that Trundle fight. And we still didn't draw the Heimer. We drew Heimer every single time uh, before that too. So this is a long video, so if you're there this long, uh, hey, might as well go through the rest of it. We finished the entire thing. We're going to hit the claim all. There it is. Don't care about that. The Mossian Star Crystals. Some more Stardust. Freyard Star Crystals. Targon in it. Those are from the silver ones. As you can see, a little bit of annoying that those are the silver ones. Those should also have uh, shards. Uh, not crystals, but at least shards. Get some Talia love here. And then here goes the rest of them. That middle one is what we care about. So we got some more Jace and some more Talia. Talia is getting a lot of love here. <laughs> and we got... I'm done. <laughs> So wait, you don't get uh I thought that you would at least be guaranteed shards in that, no? Wow. What a huge disappointment. City Star Crystal, but no, not no no Nova stuff. No. I got no Nova. 
No shards, no crystals. Wow. Uh, well, I will see you guys in the next video. That's all I'm going to say.